Hey everybody, it's your boy Can you bust got into it today? We're gonna be looking at another installment in the One Piece Hidden Acceptables line. Uh, this time featuring the ladies of Wano. So yes, we're pumping a whole bunch of estrogen in today's episode. Wait a second, I'm getting a phone call. Sanji? What? Oh, hello? Let me swim. Let me nah, swim. nah, not having it. Uh-uh. Yeah, look, listen, Sanji, you know, he's great and all, but he can get under your skin sometimes, so, uh, not today, brother, Jesus Christ, you mentioned the word lady around this guy, and he just can't keep it in his pants. I love me some Sanji, and I love his backstory and all, but he gets annoying sometimes, but you have to admit, he is one of the top ten, uh, Straw Hat members, uh, can't take that away from him. Anyway, what do we have in front of us at the moment? Present time, um, yeah, they're back at it again. Like I mentioned, uh, Jason Freeney and Mighty Jax are putting out more of these hidden dissectables. Uh, this time around, it's of course the ladies or girls, I guess, of Wano. You have, of course the mainstay staples. You got Robin and Nami. Carrot is along for the ride, of course. She's one of the uh, the minks. Otoko and Otama, one of the girls. Uh, that are prominent in the uh, Wano arc, uh, Otama being, you know, basically one of the more <laughs> valuable characters or assets in the whole Wano arc uh, struggle. Spoiler alert, by the way. Uh, come on, she's, she was introduced three years ago. Get with the times, everyone. Jesus. And of course, you got Hiyori, or what's her uh, her dancer name, I guess, or, or geisha name, uh, Kumurasaki. Uh, yeah, she's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, and then the uh, Chase, of course, is um, a different version of one of the others we have already. I believe it's Carrot in her Sulong form. Uh, definitely want to get that. That seems like a pretty cool character. Uh, she is pretty badass when she gets screen time, but that's like almost never. Anyway. Let's see what we have in the first blind box, which is, of course, uh, you know, that chrome with the Mighty Jack's uh, logo running across it. Let's see that for. What's in our first one? It's okay. We immediately go into oh, uh, Otama here. Okay. And here she is. It's Otama on a, a piece of wood. Uh, and I can't help but notice she's holding an apple, which is very uncharacteristic of her. She's usually starving and out eating actual garbage, which is a damn shame. Uh, one of the sadder backstories in Wano. Also, very important to mention, uh, much like with the other Mighty Jax figures I've opened up in the past, you can actually scan these in to have into your Mighty Jax uh, library. I believe it's called a Fidgetal, physical digital library of uh, the figures you've collected in the past, just so you can have it in your collection on the actual Mighty Jacks app. So uh, be on the lookout and make sure to collect them all. All right, who's up next? Which, by the way, if you enjoy what you're watching, please make sure to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Stay tuned to see you whenever I uh, upload again, which hopefully will be soon. I do have another One Piece opening coming up after this. And who do we have next? We have, yes, 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 a thousand times, yes. We have Nami, great. Yes, Nami was actually one of the ones I really wanted to pull. Uh, I know it seems a little silly because you are guaranteed one of each if you do buy an entire case, but there is a chance that if you do get the chase figure, this time being the uh, Sulon Carrot, you are omitted from getting one of the other ones. The uh, carrot takes the, uh, the, I guess, the position of one of the other ones. So there is a chance you might not get a Nami or a Robin or, I don't know, the other carrot. Just saying. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I pulled the, the, the Nami. She was actually, her big ass head <laughs> kind of gave it away. Um, sweet, moving on. What do we have in this one? Oh, by the way, gotta point out, each one of these figures does come with a little character card. Just, I don't know, to point it out, I guess, to confirm that you do have the actual figure. If it wasn't enough that you have the actual physical figure and you have it scanned into your digital library, you get a card as well. Oh, I saw this blue hair already. Okay, it's another one I want. Oh my gosh, it's Hiyori. Holy smokes, Sanji. I hear him knocking on my door. And here she is, Kozuki Hiyori, I think? Wow, she looks great. Look at, amazing. Well, 
Well, I mean, uh, well, I mean it. My YouTube cred is gonna go through the roof after his opening. Good lord. Let's see if we can get uh, let's see if we can get Robin, another one of the uh, absolute sweetheart diehard. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. What do we have in this one? Man, if we get a chase, that'd be sweet. Uh, oh, this is, I feel like this is Robin, maybe? Yes, it sure is. Wow, she looks, dude, the execution on these is pretty sweet, down to the, the to the rib cage. Here she is, the demon child, Reba. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold up, bring it back. Uh, it's Nico Robin. Uh, her fight, I believe, in uh, the Wano arc was actually, like, one of the cooler ones, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Uh, good, good on her. Coming down the wire. Motoko or carrots? Either carrots, really. Let's see what we have next. This feels kind of heavy, actually. I think. Okay, I think. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't want to peek. I don't want to peek. I don't want to peek. What is. Oh, it's carrots. It's the towel, man. Okay, it's just standard carrot. All right, and here she is. It's uh, Carrot, one of the minks. Uh, she's actually been traveling with the Straw Hats for a good amount of time now in the, in the anime and the show. Um, by the way, I just gotta point out that since these are all basically like humans, uh, except for Carrot. Carrot's of course like a bunny type of eel. Uh, the skeletons, the uh, dissected part here, they're all, it's all like, you know, an actual skeleton. Unlike the other uh, figures from the other sets where it's like half cyborg or half, I don't know, half fish or something. It's all like very plain, I guess you would say. It, cool, nonetheless. The execution's on point, but not enough, uh, you know, uh, variety. And by the way, that's not really a complaint. I'm just pointing it out. I can't help but notice. Anyway. Last one, what do we have in this one? I, it feels very small, so I can only assume it's Otoko. Uh, very, very sweet with this character. She's kind of a cool little girl. Um, it's just that her backstory is probably one of the saddest you're gonna find in all of One Piece. And here she is, it's Otoko, the always glasses half full girl. And it's not by uh, choice, it's kind of forced onto her. She ate the uh, uh, defective uh, devil fruit, it's called the smile fruit, if I'm not mistaken. She's always smiling and laughing, and that's the only emotion she can show. When, she, when you really start to think about it, it's screwed up. <laughs> uh, it's actually uh, one of the sadder and more uh, tragic backstories in all of One Piece. Uh, I don't want to go too much into detail to avoid spoilers, but yeah, it's no joke when it comes to this girl. And there you have it, all six of the One Piece, Mighty Jacks, Lady Edition, Freenies, Hidden Dissectables, Series 5 characters, except for the Sulong Carrot. Uh, I guess that's what happens when you decide to invest all of your uh, skill points into speech checks, as opposed to luck, you know? Uh, it happens to the best of us, right guys? But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, again, it's a huge help. It lets me know that I'm doing something right. And uh, yeah, uh, be on the lookout for another One Piece uh, opening coming real, real soon. It's gonna be a doozy. It's gonna be a, a very unexpected one, I would say. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, stay safe, and then I uh, will catch you on the next one. Take it easy, see ya. Peace.